Just as with the options that use dollars as collateral, it is useful for traders to know where their cryptocurrency options will break even. It's important to be aware of the difference in how this is calculated for cryptocurrency options to avoid any unwanted profit or loss surprises. For put options that use dollars as collateral, you may remember that the break-even point is simply the strike price minus the premium paid. For cryptocurrency put options though, you need to use the following formula, which is the strike price divided by 1 plus the premium. And this time it is the premium amount in Bitcoin per contract that we use in the calculation, not the dollar value of the premium. Before we look at some examples, it's worth mentioning that as with the dollar options, the break-even point for cryptocurrency options is the same for the buyer and the seller of the option. For simplicity, we will ignore any trading fees, but to include them, you can add them to the premium amount. Example 1. Let's first use the option from example 1 in the previous lecture. This was a Bitcoin put option with a strike price of $15,000 and a premium of 0.1 BTC. The break-even is calculated as the strike price divided by 1 plus the premium, which in this case is 15,000 divided by 1 plus 0.1. This gives us a break-even of $13,636.36. This means that if the Bitcoin price is $13,636.36 when the option expires, the trade will have broken even leaving your Bitcoin balance the same as it was before the trade. Example 2. Suppose we purchase a Bitcoin put option with a strike price of $16,000 and we pay a premium of 0.09 BTC for it. The break-even is calculated as strike price divided by 1 plus the premium, which is 16,000 divided by 1 plus 0.09, and this gives us a break-even of $14,678.90. This means that if the Bitcoin price is $14,678.90 when the option expires, the trade will have broken even, leaving your Bitcoin balance the same as it was before the trade. As we are long this put option, any Bitcoin price above this will result in a loss, and any Bitcoin price below this will result in a profit. Suppose we sell a Bitcoin put option with a strike price of $10,000 and we collect a premium of 0.075 BTC for it. The break-even is calculated in exactly the same way as strike price divided by 1 plus the premium, which gives us 10,000 divided by 1 plus 0.075. This gives us a break-even point of $9,302.33. This means that if the Bitcoin price is $9,302.33 when the option expires, the trade will have broken even, leaving your Bitcoin balance the same as it was before the trade. As we are short this option, any Bitcoin price above this will result in a profit, and any Bitcoin price below this will result in a loss. The higher the option premium, the further away from the strike price the break-even price will be. High option premiums favour the option seller then, as the price needs to move further before the seller will start making a loss. The option buyer, on the other hand, will of course benefit from the lower option premiums, because the price will then need to move a smaller distance before they will start to make a profit. In summary, the break-even point for cryptocurrency put options is not calculated in the same way as for dollar options. For this reason, it's important not to confuse the two calculation methods. Remember to use the Bitcoin premium of the option, rather than the dollar equivalent. It is also the per contract amount that should be used, regardless of the actual position size. The larger the premium of the option, the further away from the strike price the break-even price will be. For put options, this means a lower price.